It's done him well to get beat in the Tour de France last year. That's what I'm going to say, because yeah. it's poked to bear, and sometimes you have to poke the bear to get the best out of them. And we're seeing some of the best performances out of this man that he's done over the last few years. Tyler Bacaccia is bringing it home. Just listen to the fans here welcoming him. In fact, some of them are in shock. Tyler Bacaccia, when he's in this kind of mood, there's absolutely no stopping him. And look at the way he's riding this one home as well. He wants a margin here. He wants the record box, and he's in that position where he can start to think about this. Here he is thanking his team, perfectly delivered, uh, made sure that the breakaway was kept well within arm's reach. And then when he went, it was a question of who could stay with him. And in the, an in the end, the answer was absolutely nobody. The Amstel Gold Race after six hours in the saddle on a really tough race with over three and a quarter thousand meters of altitude gain. He's sailed the heights yet again. He's dominated every single one of the peaks. And surely this man's career at the age of 24 is just going to roll on. Twice a winner of the Tour de France. And this season, he just adds to what is already a fabulous roster. He has won the Amstel Gold. Ha! That's what he means to him. And the clock starts to roll, and the bell does toll. My goodness, adding to the Tour of Flanders, Perry Nice, and applause ringing out here in the commentary position for this man, Ben Healy. Absolutely outstanding performance by the Irishman. Says, you're going to run out of uh, road, I'm afraid, to catch Tom Bidcock, but it's been very, very close. He's moderated his drive, but... Looks like he's going to get there, maybe he won't. Uh, Lutsenko looks down, sees Kron here, and they're cat and mousing for fourth place. Little dab on the brakes by Lutsenko, as if to say, are you joking? 400 metres now. Lutsenko, does he still believe he can get a podium place? That car's got to be careful. Very, very close at hand here. And they get a little bit of a bow wave as a result of it. That car just needs to hold position for the time being and not try and start thinking about getting to the evacuation point. That's what it's doing. Pitcock still holds on, Kron picks up, and here goes Lutsenko, he's going to get guided in here. Uh, played a clever game, or maybe a disastrous one, slight rise in the road here, and Lutsenko comes out. Oh, and he can't find the drive, Lutsenko can't find the drive, and Pitcock just going to make it home here, I think Kron's going to have Lutsenko. Ah, oh, Pitcock, Kron, Lutsenko.